Hi guys, and welcome back to another monthly video. Can you believe it? it's like another month? It just goes by so fast. <laughs> Anyways, this is for the July monthly plan with me. As you can see here on the screen, I'll be using one of my monthly kits that is in my July mystery kits. So before I start, there's a few announcements I like to make. So my first announcement is that some of you guys may know that Canada Post might go on strike um, as early as July 2nd, which is this Saturday. And this has affected all Canadian small business owners, even on Etsy, even um, for buyers that's buying things from the state. So I'm pretty sure it affects everybody too. Because of this potential Canada Post strike, I've decided to put my Etsy shop on vacation. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that it's on vacation. I usually post most of my updates either on my YouTube channel or mostly on my Instagram and Facebook page. As of now, I have decided to reopen my shop on July 1st so that you guys could order, pre-order your August monthly mystery kit. However, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that I don't know if the strike will even go on and if it does, I don't know how long the strike will last. A lot of you guys said that you don't mind waiting for the mystery kit as long as you got one. If you guys need more information, you can find it on my Etsy shop policy page or you can combo me through Etsy with your question or even leave a comment down below and I usually reply back within a day or so. I do also have another huge announcement to tell you guys but I don't want to bombard you with all these announcements at the beginning. So let's just start my July monthly plan with me. We're using my July mystery kit. And I will announce the second announcement at the end of this video so just keep on watching and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to miss out so let's get started we'll be using my July monthly kit in my July mystery kit and I am going to use my happy planner for this plan with me well I always use my happy planner <laughs> But anyways, here's the stickers that came with the July Mystery Kit. And I know a lot of you guys was like, whoa, that's a lot of flowers. It's because it's so compact, compact into two sheets of stickers. But trust me, when you spread it out on a piece of paper, it doesn't look too crowded or too floral at all. For this month's spread, I also did a layering effect. So there's a way for you to put down the sticker. Firstly, you put down your boxes first, your blank box stickers. And secondly, your sidebar stickers. And lastly, your title page. Whereas for the sidebar, I wanna let you guys know here, if I can zoom in a bit. I align the bottom of the sidebar to the bottom of the calendar, not the page, but the calendar. So that it's a perfect measurement with the calendar itself. As you can see, it's in line with the bottom of the month. And now I'm going to finish the sidebar, just lining up with the top of the page there. And there we go. So once you have these stickers down, then you could put the title stickers on top because as I said before, as you can see here, it's done in a layering effect and it's not your straight edge. So it has to lay on top of the sidebar or your box stickers. And this is the hard part I find, but as long as you get it straight down, it looks pretty nice. And you do the same thing on the si other side. If you think there's a trick, I am pretty sure I usually use the inner on um, outer side and line it up with the line there and then angle it in a bit. I don't know if that makes sense or not. But yes, so that's the way. And here's um, the holiday stickers so as I said before in my reveal kit I decided to do a half box because usually those are holidays and a lot of things happen on that day of the holiday and I just placed it on top of the word Independence Day because I don't need to be reminded twice <laughs> that it's Independence Day so I just use it to cover it. Here you see me just picking out washi because I've seen one of my viewers on their Instagram that they use a thin gold washi tape to line the the monthly spread and I'm like wow why did I not think of that because it looks so pretty so here I am trying it out testing it out but then I looked at it mm, it's a bit too thick the washi tape so I decided to cut it in half to make it thinner so 
So I tried again with the thinner washi tape and honestly I took a step back and I just didn't feel it. I don't know if it's because it's missing the rings in between but I just it just didn't match maybe because of the color that I picked because it was a rose gold so I just left it at that because the one she posted on her Instagram was so beautiful she used a gold washi trim and and the way she just oh my gosh that was so beautiful but somehow it didn't work for me with this red so here I am just filling out my paydays and bill due stickers that comes with the kit so it's my mom's birthday on July 12th. Well, actually my mother-in-law, I call her mom. But yes, it's her birthday on July 12th. So I'm just gonna indicate that with a little cake and a flag. That also comes with the kit. And same with the tassel. It's one of the, it's on the freebie sheet of the kit. So it's perfect. It just makes it so festive, eh? I love tassels. Um, nextly, my little guy has a doctor appointment for his 18th month checkup. And I'm pretty excited for that because he's like already a year and a half. Like, oh my gosh. And also that Sunday, he has his first city program thing to go to because he's old enough to do it finally <laughs> poor guy just stuck at home for like a whole year or so but yes this one I think he'll have fun I also use my monthly spread to tell me my garbage and recycling days we actually alternate every week so one first week will be garbage second week will be recycling then the week after will be garbage so on so forth so this is a good way for me to visually see what is coming up and what I need to prepare to put on the curb that day instead of me looking out the window and see what our neighbors are putting out. Here I'm going to indicate when my August mystery kit will go up live. So it'll go up on July 1st at 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when I will reopen my shop. Um, this sticker here is to indicate something, but I'm not sure yet if I want to make the announcement. I'm just putting it there to remind me that it's still up there. Sorry if I'm being a bit secretive, but I don't want to leak out any information if it doesn't happen. And if it doesn't happen, then you'll be like, what? What's going on? Why is it? And so it's just there. <laughs> so my husband and I have date nights on Saturday, every other Saturday. And there's this one restaurant that we really want to try, but it's so hard to get reservations with. So I finally got a reservation and I booked this literally three months ago because that's how far ahead they are reserved. They don't have anything available like until three months. So I made sure, I want to make sure that I, we have a sitter for that night and that we are going to that restaurant. And I'm just going to indicate that every other Saturday will be also our date night. I've decided to use a purple pen because it kind of matches with the theme to fill in everything here. Not much else is going on that month as I know of because it's, as I said, it's early of the month and usually things for our family do come up a week before it happens. So there's a lot of last minute thing going on. So here it is, I'm all done. I'm just gonna put it back into my happy planner. It's the most satisfying feeling ever. Just to like snap those pages back in. <laughs> there we go. And I also wanna show you guys the Erin Condren version because I don't think I've shown you the Erin Condren version of the spread because it's similar, but the layout is different as you know with the Erin Condren. So here it is in my Kiki Condren. As you can see that the box is a lot longer on the left hand side and the sidebars are now on the right hand side instead. And as you can see, it's not too much stickers. It's not too much roses. Once it's spread out, it's perfectly fine or that it's, it's a good enough, good enough amount of flowers because the flowers design I've decided to make it larger instead of smaller because if it's smaller then yes, it will be very overwhelming with flowers. But because it's a large print, I think it works very well. The final announcement I have for this video is that we'll be having a Canada Day Independence Day sale. It's going to be from July 1st at 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time to July 4th. 11:59 p.m. and you get 15% off your entire purchase no minimum so that includes the August mystery kit if you do want to try it out I suggest you guys take advantage of this promotion also please note as I said before at the beginning of the video that shipping will be affected 
due to the Canada Post strike. And once again, thank you so much for watching this Plan With Me video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next Plan With Me video, which is coming up soon. Happy planning. Bye, guys.